Satya Dharma Pranetta. How Homa Therapy is resumed in our era. The life of Paramasat Guru Sri Gayanan and his disciple Sri Basant is so vast and full of important details that it is a great responsibility to cover it in a video of just a few minutes. That is not the point. Instead, we want to illustrate how the sacred fire of Agnihotra is resumed in our era. In India, the birth of a great soul is announced whose life will provide key and substantial help to humanity. On May 17, 1918, in Karakpur, West Bengal, India, Paramasat Guru Sri Gayanan was born, who would later assume the mission of rejuvenating the Vedas. In Maharashtra, in the central part of India, there is a small town whose name is Akalkot, made more famous by Swami Sri Samartha in the 19th century, who founded Akalkot as the seat of the eternal religion or Satyadharma. In 1938, at the age of 20, Paramasat Guru assumed the direction of the Math Golapa in Akalkot. And a few years later, in 1944, he will take the balls to rejuvenate the Vedas. We are neither the followers nor the protagonists of any religious tradition. We have studied Hindu traditions and also the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran. All these religious studies teach us the existence of a supreme power, Paramasat Guru Sri Gayana. On December 13, 1970, Sri Gayanan uttered the mantra and blessed Sri Vasan, saying, Take our words of bliss to all the people of the world. Dissemination must be scientific. Knowledge is given. In 1971, the first book written by Sri Vasan was published in English. It is only grace, which explains the message of the fivefold path of the Vedas, Yajna, Dana, Tapa, Karma, Swadhyaya. Book whose first chapter, Misfortune in Abundance, mentions how atmospheric pollution is destroying the world. It is interesting to note that in a book of, on spirituality, published in the 20th century, the first chapter refers to pollution. This book is not simply a prophecy about destruction, but it also gives the solution. Sri Gayanan gives the knowledge to Sri Basant, who executes the command. The first book, Grace Alone, was written as a practical program for the elevation of humanity through the ancestral practice of Agni Hotra and Homa Therapy, together with the teachings of the Fivefold Path, the eternal principles of the relationship between the human being and the divinity, Satya Dharma, as recorded in the Vedas. The essence of Satya Dharma is a Fivefold Path. First, Practice Agnihotra for the purification of the atmosphere. Second, practice Dana, sharing your belongings in a spirit of humility to initiate detachment. Third, practice Tapa, self-discipline of body and mind for the friction of your affirmation. Fourth, practice Karma, 
always good actions for self-purification. Fifth, practice Swadhyaya, self-knowledge, for liberation. Practice the fivefold path and you will become a better member of your religion, spiritual group, or society. After writing this first book, Sri Basant was sent to Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra, and Karnataka in India to spread Agnihotra and the Five Fall Path. At that time, Sri Basant did not know that he would soon be sent on a much longer journey to teach the Five Fall Path he will go to the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, the United States. From there, he will travel tirelessly around the world, fulfilling the Adonorem mission commissioned by his beloved master. Sri Gayana's mission was fulfilled from the very moment he took the bows to rejuvenate the Vedas. Today, in every country in the world, there are people who know Agni Hotra in the Fivefold Path. A few years later, a tragedy occurred in Bhopal, India, in the early hours of April 26, 1984, where more than 65,000 people died including adults and children, due to a gas spill at an insecticide plant in the city. According to the news published in local newspapers, Agnihotra and the other fires of home therapy allowed two complete families to be saved from dying from chemical poisoning that spread throughout the city. In 1986, the Chernobyl disaster occurred due to the explosion of a reactor at the nuclear plant near the city of Pripyat in northern Ukraine, at that time USSR. In Austria, the government asked local milk producers to send milking samples to rule out the radioactive products. Only one farm worked with Agnihotra in the fires of homotherapy passed the test for zero radioactivity in the milk. Thus, after the Fukushima nuclear disaster in 2011, as a result of the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, a sample of rice was collected from farmers near Fukushima to evaluate the effectiveness of Agnihotra ash. This sample was subjected to an Agnihotra solution, a mixture of water with Agnihotra ash. The initial radiation of the sample was 200 becquerel per kilo. Normal is 3 becquerel per kilo. Daily measurements were made even without a big change in radiation. Just on the 14th and 15th day, the rice sample marked 3 becquerel per kilo. The Agnihotra ash neutralized the radiation in the rice sample. In this way, the radioactivity neutralizing power of the Agnihotra fires as well as Agnihotra ash is evident. In his book, Homa Therapy, Our Last Chance, Sri Basant writes, when Agnihotra is performed, the Agnihotra smoke collects harmful radiation particles in the atmosphere and at a very subtle level neutralize the radioactive effect. Nothing is destroyed. It is simple, change it. 